today we are going to discuss about the cardiovascular system vascular tissue so already we have seen about all the connective tissue sclerous tissue and muscle tissue now we are uh, going to learn about the vascular tissue okay right you can see here almost it is uh, tree like so this is stem main stem of artery and vein and these are all the branches which are going to supply the body and also the deoxygenated blood receiving from the body right so it is the circulatory system you can see all these are the red color will be the arteries and this is blue will be the veins so don't expect uh, like these colors in the body living body or even cadaver also for our convenience we are uh, making this this is red and this is blue this is oxygenated blood and this deoxygenated blood right but the uh, same texture will be different but appearance will be same in the living and cadaver also okay so in the later part of the class we will going to learn about the what are all the differences between the arteries and veins so this is about all these are the arteries and veins of the whole body you can see beautifully right so now we'll concentrate on what are all the parts and features and functions and what are all the importance of the vascular system okay so you can see the main components of here the heart and the capillaries these are all the capillaries so artery and vein okay so it comprises mainly the blood heart and blood vessels these are all the main components of the vascular tissue so it is a uh, system supplies nutrients to the body and also remove waste products from various tissues of the body right so that is mainly the system is leading and conveying media is liquid in form of blood which flows in closed tubular system so the vessel will be the tube like uh, structure so it is in the closed tubular system so what are all the functions of the cardiovascular system so it transports nutrients and hormones to the body and also removes waste products from the tissues of the body and gaseous exchange so gaseous exchange will be mainly occurs in the capillary stage and because of this blood immunity will develop so blood vessels they will transport blood carrying oxygen and carbon dioxide and also nutrients and waste from the tissues to the center of the body so mainly the heart pumps blood through blood vessels so the center will be the heart so from the heart the oxygenated blood will going and supply the body and from the tissues of the body the vessels are coming and entering into the tissue so this is called the circulation system closed circulation system so systemic and pulmonary later part of the class we will learn about that so blood and heart and blood vessels so these are all the main components of the vascular system so what are all the blood is having so blood is mainly uh, consisting of the blood cells and plasma blood cells and plasma so what are all the blood cells blood cells are erythrocytes so granulocytes a granulocytes basically granulocytes and a granulocytes are mainly present in the blood cells in this granulocytes neutrophils eosinophils and uh, basophils these are the main parts and uh, apart from these uh, granulocytes and a granulocytes erythrocytes also there these erythrocytes are nothing but the red blood cells erythrocytes leukocytes so this leukocytes thrombocytes nothing but platelets 
plasma it is the fluid portion okay so these are all the main blood cells erythrocytes leukocytes thrombocytes and plasma all these are the cells of the blood this is uh, the erythrocytes so red blood cells leukocytes leukocytes again we are having the granulocytes and agranulocytes so the granulocytes are mainly the eosinophils uh, neutrophils and basophils so these three are the granulocytes they are having the granules in the plasma okay so they are mainly playing a role in the uh, these are eosinophils are histamine is uh, reaction so the allergic reaction if uh, the blood levels uh, these uh, eosinophils levels are increased in blood mainly the allergic reactions will occur and uh, neutrophils they are mainly the they are uh, playing a role in the this uh, wound healing so it is the main component okay so basophils all these are the granulocytes a granulocytes we are having the monocytes and lymphocytes so these are the main a granulocytes so thrombocytes are platelets they are mainly present in the adequately in the body okay so if at all the thrombocytes are uh, uh, less in number we will call it as the thrombocytopenia so plasma is uh, mainly it is the fluid portion so it is mainly consisting of the proteins uh, plasma proteins so fibrinogen and uh, so without fibrinogen we will call it as the serum okay so plasma proteins alpha beta gamma proteins these are mainly present in the plasma without fibrinogen we will call it as the serum okay so that is about blood and blood cells then coming to the heart so heart is a four chambered tube so you know very well about the structure of the heart because uh, from the childhood you are seeing this uh, the structure of the heart it is a hollow muscular organ approximately your uh, fist size so your own fist so in each individual heart size will be the uh, your their own fist size location is uh, mainly present at the intercostal fourth intercostal fourth to sixth intercostal space left side superior surface of the diaphragm so left of the midline anterior to the vertebral column posterior to the sternum so this is the heart you can see here so this is the situation of the heart so this is the apex and this is whole part will be the base so it is a point of maximal intensity so above the diaphragm beneath the sternum behind the sternum or in front of the vertebrae okay so this is the location here right so yeah yeah you can see here this is these are all the chambers so this is uh, atrium this base will be uh, formed by the atrium so this is the ventricle left ventricle is mainly forming the apex of the heart and this is the right ventricle and uh, this is the pulmonary trunk and this is iota so ascending iota arch of iota descending iota on either side you can see the lungs with pleura pleural reflection you can see the pleural reflection beautifully and this is superior vena cava okay so this is superior vena cava right so this is the heart so you can see here the circulation so now uh, this is superior vena cava and this is inferior vena cava inferior vena cava is uh, mainly uh, it is uh, mainly receiving the deoxygenated blood from the lower part of the body and this is the superior vena cava which is receiving the deoxygenated blood from the upper part of the body so from the upper part of the body is the superior vena cava is receiving and lower part of the body like lower limbs abdomen and all it is uh, inferior vena cava is receiving the whole deoxygenated blood is receiving by the inferior vena cava and superior vena cava so both deoxygenated blood if you see here both are opening into the right atrium this chamber will be the right atrium so this is four chambered heart right so this is right atrium this is right ventricle left atrium left ventricle right this is apex and this is base 
So the left, this is apex, left ventricle. So, so this is right atrium, right ventricle, left atrium, left ventricle, right? So this deoxygenated blood entering into the right atrium. So right atrium, from the right atrium into the right ventricle through right atrioventricular orifice. This you can see here. This is right atrioventricular orifice. So from here, it is going through the pulmonary trunk. So this is the pulmonary trunk, semilunar valve here. You can see here clearly. So from the pulmonary trunk, you can see both the branches. So right and left pulmonary arteries. So both are entering into the lungs. Okay. So this deoxygenated blood entering into the lung. Then there in the lung, it is oxygenated. So from the lung, again, it is coming into the left atrium through, you can see here, the four set of veins are there, pulmonary veins. We will call it as the pulmonary veins. So one the pair of veins on left side, one pair of vein on the right side. So the four pulmonary veins, so from through these veins, they are entering into the left atrium. Okay. So from the left atrium, it is entering into the left ventricle. Okay. So through left atrioventricular orifice, this we will call it as the left atrioventricular orifice guarded by a valve you can see here. From here, it is going up. You can see here, this is ascending iota, right? So this is ascending iota and this is arch of iota and this is descending iota. So this is going through this iota and supply. These are the major branches which are supplying the upper part of the body that is nothing but the head, the neck and all this upper part of the trunk. It is supplied by all these three branches and the descending iota, it is mainly supplying the lower part of the body by the branches abdominal iota and two common iliac arteries. So this is the circulatory system. So you can see here, this is right-sided part of the heart is dealing with the deoxygenated blood, right? So this is deoxygenated blood. Here, the oxygenated blood. So the left side part of the heart is dealing with the oxygenated blood. The right side part is dealing with the deoxygenated blood. Okay. Then uh, coming to the functions of the heart. Generating blood pressure and uh, rotting blood. Heart separates pulmonary and systemic circulation, what I said now. Enduring one-way blood flow, the veins. So veins are mainly, they are one-way flow. Heart valves ensure one-way flow. Then regulating blood supply. Changes in contraction rate and force match blood delivery to changing metabolic rates. Okay. So all these are the main functions of the heart.